Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Oh. Yeah, good old Elder Scrolls. What the fuck? Oh, it's a troll. <laughs> I've entered the Rudin city of Kvatch with Matthias and his men. We have the southern plaza where the survivors in the chapel can be rescued. Come on, for Kvatch! I mean, this should be easy now, right? Like, theoretically, this should be a victory lap. What's the matter? Getting tired? <laughs> These fucking guys. According like I do, it's always such a problem with the audio. Hey, my blunt went up. Cool. I would kind of... Oh! Fall down and bleed to death! Fall down and bleed to death! Love it. Let's have a nug, nice. Alright, uh, this can go... Oh wait, no, this. I may as well just drop this one. And then this isn't really doing me anything, right? And I see. Where's my guy? I would love if one of you guys keeled over so I could take if your we make it through. Wow. Altmer, fucking tall. <laughs> It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Come on. This is only... Okay. Oh, repair hammer. Guess they still have those then, huh? Two, in fact. I'll take two then. And, uh, hmm. I'll put my shirt back on. Um, two, 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 two. here we go. You require more hammers. That's fine. Report, soldier. All right, how's it going in here? Oh, hey. All right, I'll come back to you in a sec. Repent your crimes, wicked one. Oh, is it because I have a bounty? That sucks. I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. The Emperor is dead. Well, yeah, he said it before he died, really dumbass. Me? Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. Who? If all this is part of a divine plan. I know that voice. Who is that? No, I don't need to know who Martin Sem Semblehack is. Martin Septim voice actor. It's Sean Bean. Wow. Why did they... <laughs> like, they killed Patrick Stewart in the first five minutes of, of his screen time. And then they hired Sean Bean, the most famously killed actor of maybe all time? If you came to me for help, you're more of a fool than you look. Like, no way this guy's look making around. it out of this game, right? What good is a priest? I guess that's why I guess that's why the empire continues to decline. Emperor Uriel Septon, you think the emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? I imagine because you're dragon a son. I don't know. It's strange. I is there a name the for truth. you're the protagonist, That's so I'm going to trust what you? Do you want from me? 
Because I feel like sometimes there are just things that are absolutely fucking insane that a protagonist says, but someone's like, I feel as though I, I should just shut up and trust you so the plot can get on, you know? You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave... Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory. Okay, cool. But they refuse to stay put. We Talk to Captain Matt. There. We've done it. Oh, yes. We're not done. Not even close. This was only the first... You've come this far. I warn you, though. Take a few moments. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Our goal is the cat. You know the drill. Hand scythe. Not a weapon, though. Ooh. Good day. Good day. <laughs> Are you all, all right up here? Yeah! Do you like this, Sean Bean? Do you like that I'm using the weapon of the enemy against him? It I'm is a gift. Up, you pathetic worm. Look, man, I'm playing fucking The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It's not a crazy assumption that I might be a huge fan of the, the Lord of the Rings. I guess that's one of those gates that, like, a guy has to open, huh? Um, let's see what I picked up. Okay. Not bad. Um, so what happens if I cast Bound Gauntlets then? Oh. Word, it gives me some dope gauntlets. Where are we heading, boys? Hello? Fellas? I can just keep putting those on. Something I will say. Oh, we're being shelled from the top of the wall, I see. Yeah. Something I will say. Um, the armor in this game is pretty lame. But, like, I feel like that's an intentional thing. Like, they made it suck because it's realistic. Because, like, real armor does look kind of dorky. And there is some armor that was, like, really cool and dope, but those were typically unique pieces made specially for one person. Which is why it looks cool. And these are, like, not machined, but maybe even assembly line built uh, gear. I know that the modern uh, assembly line, or what people think of it as, is like a... I think it's a Civil War era invention, but, like, you know, you can have a bunch of people working on one like type of object you just wouldn't have precise machined parts yet but that's fine because we're not talking about like firearms um yeah I'm just gonna keep doing that whenever I'm whenever I'm like up but yeah I do like I like it when the bound stuff is more obviously magical. You know? Like, the way that it, they, they make it look in Skyrim where, like, it's glowing and it's it's obvious and it's shiny. It's only half there, but it still does look like Daedric shit. Like, that's cool. I like that. That works for me. I also do kind of like how in um, Skyrim they give you less options. I know that that sounds crazy, but 
Oh my god, I made it back to the chapel. Good day. Be seeing you. I hope I... I'll never forget. Take care. So what's on down here? Potion stuff. Yeah, these are really getting off the beaten track, so... I should head back. Onto the biz, you know? Yeah, so that's the big way forward. What do you want? Bye. Is your name Guilbert? Guilbert? What the fuck is your name, bro? The hell is that? Man. This is a spoiler for uh, Fallout 3. Oh, word. Let's, uh, let's get myself up here. So not a rusty helmet, which looks like it just has a little aberration on in order to make it look a little more beat up. Oh, you have to go through the chap. That makes sense. Door to quatch. Ooh. Who are you? You're cool. The name on here? Plinth? Something like that? Yes. Corpses. Okay, it's time for fashion souls, boyos. Yeah. 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 A little better. That's much better. How does this look? I'm still too heavy. Um... So what is this? 40? 40, 40, 43, 3, 94. 60, 20, 3, 99. Oh, that's the weight. So this is way heavier. A long sword. I do like long swords better. Yeah, there we go. Much better. So, uh, what's going on over here, guys? Is this, uh, door supposed to open? One mo. I'm just going to find out what's supposed to happen here. <laughs> uh, I've missed something. One mo. I think I was maybe uh hawing through this guy's text. Which is on me. Like, of course that's on me. I will say, um... Being a Let's Player and having a game that has voice acting versus not is like... A play holy shit. You too. What a fucking split in difference. I hope. Goodbye. Well, maybe I need to load. Just to make sure here. A pleasure to. You look like Mr. Bean, dude. It's my pleasure. Farewell. When we're done. Hmm.
Let me reread the wiki. All right, this dialogue didn't prompt. Gates are locked, and the only good way old, to open good old Bethesda. Was in the gate. We can't open that gate from out here. Okay. Only and the only way to get into the gatehouse now would be through the pass. Hurry and find Barrage Inian. He should be back at one. Okay. So yeah, they they wouldn't relax and and give me the next phase of the quest. That one's not on me. So I didn't even uh huh through his dialogue, which means that that's now not on me. Good old Bethesda, you know. We saw the smoke from the gold. We'll be right. Oh, cool! We get like reinforcements and shit. I'm just waiting. Uh, I needed to get into right. castle. I'm afraid you're in for a tough time, friend. I'd better go with you. If, if I don't make it. Sure. I hope you don't make it. I don't have the chance to get that, that loot anymore. Oh, wait, let me... Let me follow my quest marker here. Okay. Lead me through Kvach. So I... Where's my man's at? This is new, is it? The smell, really. Smoke and fire. And something worse. Something worse, you say. Where did he go? <sighs> Dude, the way that Oblivion NPCs, like, finish their dialogue and then charge off to do whatever is, like, a little inconvenient. Dude, can't I repent my crimes here? It's my farewell. Uh, I got off topic, but anyway, so um, yeah, they managed to get Bethesda managed to get um, a certain Liam Neeson for Fallout. We've done good. We need to get to the castle. If the count is... How many... I'm looking for your guy. I don't know where the hell he went. Um. Anyway, yeah. Bethesda got a hold of famous voice actor... Not even voice actor. Famous actor to be a celebrity voice actor. Liam Neeson. Okay. Um, and he dies in the story of Fallout 3. Spoilers for like a 15 year old game. Um, should I know what the guard tower looks like? And it was this thing where, like, oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Game is good. Oh, yeah. Well, on the bright side, I've been given the meantime to check the wiki. And it tells me that now is the time I go into the Chapel Undercroft. So, whoops. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, if Bethesda put Liam Neeson in their game, and then they put Sean Bean in their game, and then they put Patrick Stewart in their game, and all three of them got killed, like, that's a that's a hat trick, man. And also, stop paying for these million-dollar voice actors. It's such a huge portion of the cost of this game's development, I can only imagine. Oh, you're, you're seeing the real, you're seeing the real shit now. Yep, Oblivion's not responding. Alright, we might be okay.
Okay. Can I get a... Yeah. Just some parchment. Yeah, these are like regular ass writing desks. That's cool. <laughs> I like how a couple of these people have the good beds and the rest of them have like some really, really like just some shitty beds. Undercroft, here we go. Now I have the key. Show me what you got. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this is the part where you fall Neil? down and bleed to death. You're pathetic. For the Empire! By Fire! Fire! That guy got it pretty hard. I'll freely admit that. I kinda hope that this guy dies. I really want his loot. The fact that I, I loaded my save and had to miss out on that loot. And like, granted, it's not like I earned that loot. A guy died and I, I just stripped the corpse. But you know what? I want him a goodies. Maybe a few more will die or they'll give me some in, in a bit. You know. Where's my guy at? God, the way the way that they just charge off. Like, look. In the I think the creation era games, yes. There are some motherfucking problems about trying to make an NPC go to a place, you know? Like in Skyrim and in Fallout 4, there are some problems with getting an NPC to you know, go to an area. I'll admit that happily and freely. There's a lot of problematic uh, uh, quests with NPCs like that in both those games. And I mentioned it because it's the same company, a lot of the same team, and the same engine. Ragdolling is very good. As usual, I guess. I love gold smoke, by the way. That's neat. Doskin shoes. Calipers and yarn. Down through here, I guess. Um, I found the tunnel. I need to follow it to the gatehouse so I can raise the gate. Great in here, guys. What was I just talking about? Damn it, this always happens. That was a small little area. Cool. Charge the courtyard. I'm glad he has dialogue there. Oh yeah, we're talking about um, progression and like the way that they go. Like, dude, the way that the NPCs in this game fucking zoom off, like, it has left me some problems now. More than once. Okay, so I'm thinking it's probably a great time to drop this because it's a very heavy weapon. And I can get a proper steel longsword now. I'm a little loath to bear these things. Ooh, Mouton. Still Claymore. 26, but it's 80 and it's 5. Oh, I'll take it. And then... We'll drop this. Alive. 
Ooh, and we got a guy. This area is clear. It's Miranda. No. All right. All right, better than what I had. So how do I feel about this? I don't actually like that. Just swinging it around like that? I don't like that that much. So let's... Rusty Iron Shield. Oh, you didn't have a shield. Probably a mistake there. Cool, not bad. I feel better about my equipment now. Okay. All right, we'll hold this area. You head to the back of the castle and find the Count. Don't come back here without him. <laughs> Whatever you say. So are these guys, like, scaled to my level? Like, are they being actively scaled to, hey, you're a level one schmuck, so we're going to give you some level one schmucks to fight? Yeah. Or is it, like, canon that, like, everyone's favorite Daedric Prince's best fucking foot forward? Oh, I'm an apprentice of acrobatics. Cool. Oh, it's good old Wag and Jarth. <laughs> And bowl, Peter Pitcher. Brother Martin's unconscious. Uh, pardon me, sir. I'm reading these books that you're burning. Oh, that's a regular scam. Not just some schmuck scam. Can I? Brother Martin, you are a pain in my ass. Okay. I don't mind that this person is unconscious system. Dude. You're not a tank. You can't, you can't run into battle and expect to just take that hit like that. You're not going to be okay. You don't have the health. Hourglass. Strawberries, nice. You know, I guess I I'm saying it in like a sense of like if this were like real and honest. The dead body. Black and burgundy, bronze amulet, Colovian signet ring. I don't know where Colovia is, actually. Because that's the same um, Colovia as in Colovian Fur Helm, I imagine. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, in Fallout New Vegas, I think Danny Trejo is uh, the voice of. Raul, the ghoul. And he only dies if the player lets him die, which means that that's, that's one guy who, who makes it out, assuming the player doesn't... Oh my god, Beric, no. Are you unbothered by this, man? Now's not the time for talking. I'm not.
Man, they are they are dying in here. Can I wait? I need to start keeping better saves. I feel like that's going to benefit me greatly. Especially considering how many times the game is broken already. I'm on your side. Do I need to have this on? No? Okay, what if I reset the area? Creepy Watson's always ahead of me. Where is the Count? Why is he not with you? Okay, cool. It worked. Lying face down in a pool of blood. How dare you mock him? Had you not been instrumental in getting this far, I'd put you down where you stand. Yeah, sucks to Where's suck. Where is the Count's ring? Do you have it? Yes, here it is. At least this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time. When a new count is crowned. The crown counts? Here, take this. I have no use for it. <laughs> oh, he gave me his thing. Cool. You gonna... Bye. Okay. Uh... Ooh, it's enchanted. Much better. I feel like having um, like proper like real gear equipped is probably better. Kavach was rebuilt. Cool. I'm looking at this fucking city in flames. And I'm like, we did it, brother Martin. We saved the city. It's not looking good in here, guys. I'll be honest. It looks pretty shitty. But hey, I did my part. Um, I guess I need to go back and drop off this quest about, um, Joffrey. Uh, but yeah, that was successful. Um, I feel good. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. I hope you had a good time. I, I actually really did. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.